my name's Karen and I'm a geek. <laughs> That's good, you might understand the jokes. <laughs> so I have a bit of a problem, people, that I want to share with you this evening. I like going to parties. That might surprise you for a geek, but I like going to parties. But there's one question that people ask me at parties that I really don't know how to answer. No, no, don't worry, it's not do you want to fuck and deal with that one. <laughs> it's what do you do for a living? And I don't really have a good answer to that question. So I could say I'm a mathematician, so I did a degree in maths. Yeah, no woo for maths, I notice. <laughs> but when you say to people, I'm a mathematician, they go, oh, um, I can't do maths. No, 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 my family doesn't do maths. And I have to say, that really annoys me, because I think if I said, I studied English, just like Sharon, would they say, oh, no, 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 my family can't do English. We can't read, we're illiterate. <laughs> this is perfectly fine to say that if you're going to study maths. I could say I'm a computer scientist, because I work here in the School of Computing. And then people will go, fantastic, great, so glad you came to my party. This might surprise you. <laughs> but they follow up by saying, because you could just fix my printer, it's in broken for weeks. <laughs> yeah. um, not really me. Or even worse, could you just go and play Halo with my son next door? Um, and my PhD was in Grand Theft Auto, so I'm not very good at Halo. <laughs> The real answer is, I'm in artificial intelligence. And at this point you realise, too many people have watched The Matrix. <laughs> so kind of take a step back and say, you're gonna take over the world, you're gonna kill us all. Well, I'm not right now, not tonight anyway. <laughs> so you might be thinking, have there been any other female computer scientists? Have they had these issues? Well, we go back right to the 17th century, there was Ada Lovelace. But I think she kind of had issues, because she married her maths teacher. Um, and if I'd married my maths teacher, not only would he be 30 years my senior, but his name was Mr. Casal, and he kind of smelled a bit like yoghurt. <laughs> I don't think that would have been a very great idea, really. Actually, being a geek and being a computer scientist, I've had a few problems in love. Aww. Oh, no. I was went my first ever conference when I was 20. And my supervisor said, network, talk to everyone, network, network, network. <laughs> okay, 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 I'll talk to everyone, you can do this. But then one of the eminent professors in the field gave me his room key and said I can come up to his room tonight. Oh. Yeah, not great. I got the last laugh though, because I dropped his key down the drain. It's <laughs> quite good. A bit later in my life, still doing a PhD, I did something really impressive, people. Are you ready for my feet? My yeah. great thing I did? It was me who made DVDs play on Linux. Ooh. Yeah, um, you know, you're far easier to impress than my family are. <laughs> I said that to my mother and she went, is that more computer stuff, Karen? <laughs> and I was really proud of myself. I should clarify, by the way, by play, I mean, I got the pictures to show in the correct sequence with subtitles. There was no sound. <laughs> but still, it was an achievement. And I thought, I'm going to share this with people. So I went to the Linux user group. Unfortunately, the Linux user group, they kind of just thought, female! And they all tried to ask me out. <laughs> and if I'd wanted computer dating, I would have gone to match.com. <laughs> I know how to do that. A bit later in life, I decided I wanted to try and find more geeks. I wanted to try and find my geeky man. So I went to a board gaming society. You think, you know, I'm there. Um, unfortunately, I'm actually quite good at playing Risk. <laughs> and I won the game, and um, one of the postdocs left in tears. <laughs> so that wasn't very great either. Thankfully, I've now found my geek, and I'm happily married. If you're looking for him, he's the one who does laptops out, out earlier. <laughs> um, but sometimes that causes issues as well, because we tend to go to conferences together and stand there for about 10 minutes and people talk to him and say, oh, do you understand templates and C++? And he goes, yes, and nods. And then I say something and tell him, oh, I thought you were just the wife. He's like, no, I'm not just the wife, he's just the husband. <laughs> <laughs> Thank 
asking, how did my husband woo me? Well, he has the fantastic chat up line and he's given me permission tonight <laughs> to share it with all of you guys, okay? So if you're a male here looking for your geeky female, then you can try this. You can say, can you explain the orbit stabilizer theorem <laughs> to me? The reason this works, people, is in case you wondered, because A, makes you quite clear that he thinks you're intelligent and knows something, and B, he's going to learn from you. So just remember that one, can you explain the orbit stabilizer theorem? <laughs> I want you to try it at the bar later on and tell me how you get on. <laughs> So, I might be thinking, what sort of things that Kiki was looking, him, looking for in a man? What should I do in order to find one? Well, I have a song to help you with that. John, have some music, please. Clothes in the original no pockets, but yeah. yes, great things. <laughs> I find the words for the music. Right, hit it, John. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 